Valentines, welcome back and thanks for popping in. Today we're going to take a look at the Home Supply Co. box from WS Mercantile. Now if you're unfamiliar with this box, it is a home decor subscription box that comes out quarterly. I love a quarterly box. And inside you're going to find sort of neutral and cozy home decor, but where they kind of switch it up is we always get a vintage item within the box. So I know the first box that we got um, that I opened was this little restaurant wear pitcher. It's in my kitchen and it is so pretty. That's something that we don't really see in a lot of other home decor boxes. And in addition to that, she also finds one small business to feature or small maker. And I have to tell you, if you go back and you say, Christy, what was in the October XYZ box? Chances are I cannot tell you, but I've opened this box two other times and I can tell you everything that was in the box. I remember turning off the camera after unboxing them and thinking, that's the way it's done. I've really been impressed with this box and that's why I decided in January to name this box as the box to watch for 2024. It's just something that I do here on the channel. It is a very small business. Lori is the owner. She owns the WS Mercantile. So you can go over to her website. She has a gorgeous blog where um, that's linked on her website, which she does recipes and she likes to mix vintage pieces with current home decor. It's really, really beautiful. Her Instagram is beautiful too. So you can buy things in the marketplace, but she also has launched this box and I just think it is very well done. So we're going to go ahead and take a peek and see what's inside. Now this box is $99 a quarter and I don't have a discount code per se. However, she said if you use the code sunshine that she would put a free item in your very first box. Now when I talked to her last, there were only nine boxes still available. So if you're looking to get this box, you might want to run over and get it because I'm not sure it's going to last very long. With all that being said, let's unbox. And if you like what you see, please consider hitting that subscription button and giving this video a thumbs up. I would love to have you as part of my Georgia Sunshine family. Okay, guys, I got to get my glasses on. I got my cutter here and let's dive in. So this is what the box looks like. It says um, cozy begins here or a cozy home begins here, I think. Let's unwrap the seal here. There's a lot of tape on this guy. It's a nice size box. And again, I really like a quarterly box because it's something that's not hitting your credit card every single time. The owner, Lori. All right, so thanks for sending that over. Hello, Sunshines, future editing Christy here. It's late and I'm about to go to bed, hence why I don't have any makeup on. But I was sitting down to edit this video and get it ready for tomorrow, and there's an entire clip missing. I don't know what happened, and I think in the seven years I've done YouTube, I have never had this happen before. But there's a first time for everything, right? And sometimes you just gotta roll with it. So I'm gonna explain to you what was in this missing clip. So I basically open the box, show you what's inside, and the first thing you see when you open it is this gorgeous wrapped package. It was wrapped in this beautiful green paper and on top was this little watercolor sticker. So just know if you decide that you wanna get this box for a gift, it has a great first impression right off the bat. But the next clip you see is me already with the paper off the box and pulling the insides out of it. So that's where I'm gonna take you next. Sorry guys. All right, so I think I got the top part of the styrofoam off. What is this? Oh, look at this gorgeous, yummy picture. I love the color. Very neutral. This is a very classic design. I like this little bump. It gives it a little something something to it, a little elegance. I really like the shape of the picture, how it just comes out straight and doesn't jut up at all. Can you imagine this with beautiful tulips or maybe some hydrangeas? It would be beautiful with your summer lemonade. Or if you're having guests, you could do orange juice in here. It'd be beautiful on just a table scape. But again, on an entryway with flowers. I feel like this is something that will never go out of style. It's very classic and beautiful. You could mix, mix rustic with it. You could mix farmhouse with it. You could mix modern with it. I really, really like that. Okay, so far so good. On that first piece we have in here, it's wrapped in this tissue. <laughs> Look at the packaging on this. It is obviously not a baguette, but it's in a baguette bag. That is so clever. And it says, spread a little happiness. Okay, what could this be? This 
this is so neat. It actually has all the bread things in it. Maybe, maybe you wrap your bread up in this. I'm wondering now. Okay, hold on. I've got to pull it out. <gasps> Look at that gorgeousness. That I'm assuming it's a tea towel and we have a little spreader. Okay, this is by the Sassy Bard and it says spread happiness. Isn't that beautiful? So you can use it to spread your avocado or your jelly or your butter. Again, this makes a beautiful tablescape just to add. Or you can put it on your charcuterie tray if you like to have jam with your cheese. That's so pretty. So I bet this is our small business. Okay, and then with it, she just included, and I love how she folded the towel and made it a little pocket. Such a good idea if you're setting a table. Look at that gorgeousness. Is that not pretty? This would be so pretty just to sit on a kitchen island. You could put this on top of this, maybe fold it if it's a little bit too big with flowers, but that could anchor your space. But just a beautiful napkin if you're having, you know, girl charcuterie dinner because <laughs> your husband is out of town or whatever. This would be so pretty just for one. It makes you feel so special. Look at that together. Oh, I love this. I was just cleaning out my utensil drawer and my spreaders had all gotten yucky. A lot of them have those like plastic handles and they were coming off. So I'm really happy to have that. Okay. The next item in here. Oh, look. It's a little lamb's ear. Is that what this is? I'm thinking. It says, thank you for being a friend. Yeah, it's a little lamb's ear. So if we take the picture... I mean, obviously this isn't enough for the picture, but add some, you know, red or pink roses or something. You could mix this lamb's ear in and make it really, really beautiful. I always say greenery just softens a space. So we have two stems of greenery. Oh my gosh, I love the color palette that she chose this time. And then we have, but wait, there's more. There's more down in here too. Ooh. Okay, look at this. I love all the packaging that she does. It's not even spoiled because she put the crinkle paper on here. And look at that. It looks like she homemade that crinkle. I don't know if that's true, but it certainly does look like it. What is this? Oh, what is this? Oh my gosh. <laughs> so cute. He's a little bunny. Oh my goodness. He's a little Bunny. So he could sit on the top of a tray and his leg could um, kind of go down. Do you see? How beautiful is that little guy? Or maybe he goes on a cup. Hold on. Could he? That's what happens. Look at this. I didn't see it at first. But isn't that sweet? So he can go on top of your pitcher or your coffee mug. I can see I've got a couple of really little vases on my tear tray. He would be so cute mixed in with my Easter decor. What a special, really beautiful little piece. He could peer over a flower pot. He's so cute. He's kind of got that Peter Rabbit vibe, that like naughty bunny getting into trouble vibe isn't he adorable that is gorgeous i love his color too he's weathered just a little bit but he's got the lightest champagne gold color isn't this box sweet don't you think it has its own distinct sort of personality now in every box we're going to get two postcards one that you can keep and one that you can give so i think that might be what is in here Oh man, this is awesome. We got some lifesavers in here. I'm so excited. When I was visiting Emma, when she had her surgery, I bought a bag of lifesavers and then I left them. I was so mad. Lifesaver mints are like probably my favorite mints ever. Um, oh, and this tells us actually a little bit more about the items in the box. So we will take a look at this. Um, orange honey butter. So we have a recipe for orange honey butter. I'm gonna be making that tomorrow. Doesn't that sound lovely? Things like this that are really easy, it's literally honey, orange marmalade, and butter at room temperature, like mixed together. But this makes things feel so special, like a Christmas morning or an Easter morning or something like that. I love having recipes like this in my back pocket. And look, she included the spreader. 
Love the details here. Okay, and then it says celebrate spring and these are our postcards. So if you're going on a little spring vacation and want to send somebody a note, you're able to do that. And she says, keep one and gift one. That's gorgeous. Do you see those hydrangeas sticking out of the top of that? That's what I'm thinking would be beautiful on that uh, picture. Okay, let's read about it before we get to the next item. So it says the hydrangea linen napkin is a 100% pre-washed linen napkin from Heirloom Collection. It is used to cover rolls in a basket or lay under a spring vignette. So I did say that it maybe could cover bread, but in a spring bread basket, wouldn't that be beautiful? We got the antique style stoneware pitcher. I was so excited to find this antique replica of an iron stone pitcher. It does kind of look antique, doesn't it? Whether you're pouring juice, water, or tea, this multi-purpose pitcher is practical and beautiful. It's timeless. That's what I said. Um, it's uh, food and dishwasher safe and makes a charming flower vase too. Thank you for giving us something dishwasher safe. It says the authentic vintage spreader. So that spreader is vintage. It says it's a little bit of vintage in the spring home supply co box vintage cutlery was collected and hand stamped by ashley of the sassy bard and her team so that was our vintage item um the resin bunny oh, i didn't think he was resin he definitely feels metal interesting it says it wouldn't be spring without bunnies hanging around <laughs> get it um this little guy will look cute hanging from a potted plant or, uh, through spring and summer and he doesn't eat your carrots either <laughs> oh my goodness okay so we have one more thing down in here you see it down in here right, let's see if i can get it out yeah i can all right so again she wrapped it so think about this wouldn't this make a lovely lovely mother's day gift i mean even though it has a bunny i think anybody who loves to garden will love this little guy i'm thinking about Hmm, these would be lovely Mother's Day gifts. I try and get Mother's Day early because, I don't know, it always seems to sneak up on me. And $99 is a really great price to go in like with my brother and get it. I love it. All right, so we're opening this box. I'm throwing away the paper. This is what's inside. I can't tell what it is based on opening the flap here. All right, we've got some usage instructions. I'm not sure what it is though. <gasps> what is this? Look at this. Okay, hold on. All right, so this is like terracotta, and it's a tree with all of these birds. I bet you could put this in the oven. I'm just like thinking off the top of my head. I have no idea. You could probably put this in the oven and then take it out to keep your bread warm. I'm thinking that might be a really good idea. Or maybe tortillas. This would be great for tortillas. But then, so it does come out. You could use this as a trivet um, on your table for your hot pot of mashed potatoes or whatever. And then we have this gorgeous basket that it sits in. Okay, now I've never seen anything like this and it's stunning. Those birds seem to scream spring. Okay, we gotta read about this too. Okay, it says the terracotta stone bread warmer basket. As you gather around the table this spring with friends and family, keep bread toasty warm in this birds of a feather designed bread basket. No more cold rolls, just cozy conversations. I chose this piece for its multifunction, a fruit basket, a uh, use it for guest towels and soap on a bathroom counter or on your patio table to hold condiments napkins or a plate a basket and stone can be used separately too what a good idea she had i love it put it to put it on your maybe picnic table for your napkins and condiments and things if you're having a cookout that is gorgeous you see why i love this box and why i say it has its own distinct personality it's different from so many of the other subscription boxes that we see i think this is just beautiful and i love the idea of wrapping your bread around it I love all the ideas for this. I've never in all the seven years I've done an unboxing seen something like this and it is stunningly beautiful. I love the whimsy of the little bunny. He is so cute. He just is the naughty little rabbit. I'm going to call him Peter for sure. Then we got the gorgeous lamb's ear, the pitcher, which was 
absolutely stunning. And then our vintage piece, which was our spreader, that was not only vintage, but also stamped from a small business. Isn't that neat? I don't know, I really like this box. So again, there's nine boxes left. If you wanna get your hands on them, you can use my um, link down below. It's not a referral link or anything, but you can use the code SUNSHINE and that is going to give you a free gift in your first box. Thank you, Lori, over at WS Mercantile for sending this over. You are officially the Georgia Sunshine box to watch for 2024. I hope you guys enjoyed it too, and I'll see you soon for another video, guys. Bye-bye.